Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to get smooth motion blur by using Premiere Pro uh, when you're trying to edit your gaming videos. So first of all a little context. If you've spent any time lately looking at videos on YouTube related to Fortnite or Minecraft you might have noticed this trend where videos are recorded in 240 FPS or higher and then sample down to 60 FPS, which is what YouTube allows. And the videos themselves look a lot smoother because instead of one frame, you have four frames which are composited into one, which gives off a nice motion blur. So when I first tried investigating this, I could only find ways to do it in Sony Vegas. And I really dislike Sony Vegas, so I thought I'd make a tutorial where I show you how to do it in Premiere Pro because it is possible although you'll not find it on the internet anywhere else. So first of all I'm gonna get this clip here and as you can see it's in 240 frames per second and I'm gonna drag it here to create a sequence. Now when I have this uh, video here which is playing back at 240 I can do whatever I want with it. I can cut it, uh, add some cringy transition or I don't know just a simple dissolve I can do whatever I want with it, add uh, an adjustment layer or something, I don't know, go crazy. And then I'm going to go over here uh, to the export option and click media. Now this opens this panel and in here we're going to fiddle with our uh, with our settings and and this is where the magic is going to going to happen. So I'm going to uh, I do my normal settings, just increase the bitrate, whatever, use maximum render quality. I'm assuming if you want to have motion blur that you're recording at a high quality because nobody wants to watch a, a 360 pixel video with smooth motion blur. Now, this is the option you want to look out for, time interpolation. By default, it's going to be set to frame sampling. And what this does it is it just removes uh, three out of every four frames. So it just deletes the excess frames you might have while recording. And we're going to change it to frame blending. Now this is going to do that compositing I was talking about, where it's going to blend four frames into one so you get 60 FPS video, but it's going to be really smooth. And now if I export it and wait a little bit, and here is the clip I rendered out, and I'm going to play it. And if I pause it, you'll be able to see if I get a nice frame. For example, here, instead of having a single frame, frame where you can see the outline of the mountain and the trees, you have a composition of several other frames. And you can see here in my uh, fist, if you count the individual frames or over here on the tree, that you're getting um, one frame for every four that you had in the 240 FPS video. So this is all for the tutorial. I hope it was helpful to you and that you'll be able to make really smooth videos while using a clearly superior editing software. And that's really all. So make sure to like, subscribe, comment below, and whatever YouTubers say at this point. And thank you very much and have a nice day.